What's up guys, Cygnus here, and today we're going to take a look at level 20 twinking. It's something that's gaining quite a bit of traction lately, and I've been having an absolute blast with. First off, why level 20? Level 20 is the cap of the accounts without active subscriptions. Well, why does the status of your subscription matter? Because battleground queues are separated, so when you turn your XP off, you won't get a queue to pop, but this way, since you don't have to turn your XP off, you're able to queue with everybody else in the level 20 through 29 bracket. The end goal of twinking has and always will be PvP. Well, you know, that's just like, uh, your opinion, man. If you're looking for anything PvE oriented, that's like level 30, cause 30 is when you unlock raids, and there's some Project 30 guilds out there that are, you know, doing that kind of stuff if you're interested in that. But back to level 20. There's two kind of states that your account can be in, and they can affect the things that you can and can't do in-game. First up, there's standard free-to-play. This is the status of your account that has never had a subscription or never paid any money to Blizzard for an account in the past. You can make one of these whenever, but they're pretty locked down. Um, no say chat, no general chat, no trading, starting groups, joining guilds, using the mailbox, using the auction house, etc, etc. This way of playing is a little bit more meticulous because you kind of need to juggle professions in order to get some of the best enchants and gems in a way that you're going to have to go out and do things like mine without a flying mount. If you're looking for a sense of solo progression and pride, that's how you should play. And for everything else, there's veterans. Veteran accounts have two statuses, active sub or unsubbed. As you're free to assume, active sub has access to things like the auction house, uh, mailbox, trading, the ability to invite people to groups um, and be invited to guilds. If you're unsubbed, however, you can still be in a guild if you just let your uh, time expire. Um, other than that, you have none of the above. But the main thing that we're looking at here is random PG queues. That's really the only reason you're doing this, right? Now there is this other thing that's gaining traction and it's pretty cool um, to see, uh, it's war games. And this is probably the most balanced BGs you're ever going to have as a twink. There's not a ton of them right now, but they're gaining traction. And from this point onward, for the sake of the video length, we're going to assume you're going forward with a veteran account. So you've hit level 20 and now you need to start gearing. There's kind of two different ways you can go about gearing. There's normie dungeon gear and then there's tryhard BOEs. There's an awesome Google Doc spreadsheet out there that Chewbacca has put together and it shows all the gear that you can get from the dungeons and all enchants you can get at level 20 and all gems that you can put into that level 20 gear. And I'll have that linked here and in the description. Dungeon gear, as you might have guessed, comes from Burning Crusade Dungeons and it has hella sockets on it. This gear is pretty awesome because of the sockets and even the stats, but then you might go, well wait, where's the mastery? Well, mastery wasn't introduced until Cataclysm, so if that's your class's best stat, even at this level, I would recommend, after getting at least a couple pieces of the socketed dungeon gear, to go route number two. Now, route number two can either be very simple and expensive, or a huge RNG grind fest, and that is I level 28 BOEs. The easy but expensive way is going to the auction house and just buying this gear. It can be insanely expensive, but if it has mastery and your best slot, you're only going to get that with these green pieces. Well, they're just green BOEs, I should be able to go out and farm them, right? Well, that's true, and there's an awesome compendium thread over on the XP off forums, and I'll link that here. So you've got your gear with all your shiny gem slots, and you've got nothing to put in them. Remember that atlas I told you about? This will show how to get specific patterns and what gems give what stats if you're unfamiliar with them. Same goes for enchants really, uh, Northrend enchants are extremely easy to get though because you can level it all just with some gold uh, in the city of Dalaran. Alright, you've got your gear all set up, you're enchanted, you're gemmed, you're ready to PvP. Well when do I get to do that? You gotta wait for your sub to expire. Let's obviously not forget about war games, uh, those are growing in popularity, uh, or you could also just level another tune. Well, that kind of wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if there's any other topics you'd like me to cover in detail regarding twinking, um, let me know in the comments section. If not, head over to the XP Off forums. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace!